door here. It's like a combination. If you've ever, are you into like Doom or Mist? Any video games, uh, uh, CD-ROM games like that? Yeah, yeah. You? Are you? I you are? Quite a bit. Have you seen those? Okay. So it's a little bit of like combination of all that stuff. You have the multimedia. You have cat articles. The multimedia being the five songs. You want to hear the five songs? Yeah. Okay, in a second. First, we'll check out the other section. Cyber glossary, which is like uh, uh, terms of musical terms in cyber speedway. You got a cat timeline and history of music on the timeline, and you have the slave club. We'll show you slave club in a second. Right yeah, now. I'm in that. Okay, you're in that. Also, the in that. The uh, orchestra too, from the top version, uh, looking down. Right, you have that. Right, that's in the other section. That's the cyber orchestra. Okay. We'll get to that. Here's the cyberspeed jukebox representing what uh, cl classical music, cyberspeed music, metal, everything be like this in the 21st century. I hate to tell you guys that all your bands that you love so much are going to be out of business, but you'll see for yourself. I don't need to say anymore. So, uh, cat, uh, you have a selection. Caprice number nine, Paganini. Right, the Valkyries, Wagner. Goddess, can you see all these? Cyberspeed. Part two, number three, Bach. Which one will it be? What do you want to hear from my uh, cat jukebox? I like the title, Goddess. Goddess, you got it. This is a chunky, heavy metal version of the great cat. This is a new song we just recorded a couple of months ago with my new band. And yeah. uh, we're going to be going on tour probably next month, uh, promoting the CD-ROM and playing the new songs. And I got like shitloads. If you, can you say shitloads on the show? Yeah, you can cuss all you oh, want. Yeah. Why did you tell me that before? I'm like sitting here trying to fucking repress myself because I did about three billion fucking. Then I can't say fuck! I wish that you could bring that over because I can't bring this any louder. Just get it right to so you can hear it. Watch you bleed. There we go. There we go. You like it? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Like what do you like better, fast or heavy? I like it. I like both. Chunky rhythms. Something that was really heavy with a sickest lead I heard. That was Cyberspeed. We'll hear that in a second. We'll hear that Cyberspeed. Yeah. Okay, but this is Goddess. Very, very chunky. Now, if you listen to the CD ROM, the regular CD player, you pop it through the whole thing. You pop this into the regular CD player, you don't need a CD ROM. Put it in your regular CD player, you can stick out the damn CD, right? Put it in your regular CD player, you can hear the five tracks. You gotta skip track one. Go right to track two. Are all these new songs that you can hear, and they're, they're pretty fucking awesome. Okay, so now you got the little piano. You get out by pressing on that. We're gonna go back to the main screen, and you want to look at Cyber Orchestra? Yes. Okay, let's look at Cyber Orchestra. Let's educate your fucking brains. I know you out there don't want to be fucking educated, but believe it or not, with this um, CD ROM, and we're gonna get you all to get CD ROMs and computers, whether you fucking like it or not, because guess what? All you little fucking Metallica, Malmsteen, fucking whatever shit you're into, it's all garbage. You're gonna educate your brain, whether you like it or not. Right? Yeah, I was wondering what you thought, thought of Mountain because he's really uh, into class. He, yeah, maybe he might be in it to it, but it doesn't sound like it, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, I like to know one piece that he does that actually sounds uh, um, classical. Here, what do you have? Well, let's look over here. Well, you, you whip around over how, here. How difficult was Juilliard? When you were Very there? difficult. I was concert master at Juilliard. I, I, I won artist. violinist, right? Yes, on violin. I won artist international. I, I was at Juilliard for six years. I graduated. Um, I played at Carnegie Recital Hall. And uh, basically, uh, it's a very competitive, very vicious, uh, cutthroat environment. That's why I'm like this. That's why. Uh, that's could, why. Yeah, so then you got into cyber, hyper metal. Right? Cyber speed. Cyber speed. Like, oh! right? This is why I'm like this, though. This is why I don't care about slagging people like Metallica. Because, see, when, we, when I was at Juilliard, you know, people were slagging each other all over. Ah, she sucks. Ah, he's an asshole. Ah, right. ah she sucks. Ah, he's a fucking piece of shit. So like it doesn't bother huh? me. You know what I mean? I had Metallica come over to me and say that I suck. I'd be like, you're jealous fucking uh, dumb cunts who can't play cyberspeeds. You know, suck my dick. All I can say is that the poof is in the music, man. Okay, so uh, strings. Here's part of the orchestra. You got strings, you got brass, you got woodwinds, you got keyboards, and you got percussion, right? So what you do is you roll over these. This is what I'm talking about, this, this CD-ROM being fucking exciting. It's interactive. You sit there, it doesn't do anything. Play with it. Go ahead, touch it. Press anything? No, 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 no. Just, you see this little ball? Oh, okay. Just move, roll it around. Right. Just keep That's rolling it around. Yeah. And there you go. This guy knows some shit. What the yeah, fuck? I, I, just learned something. I've never, I've never messed with computers before in my life. Go I've try. Got, go try. Go try. You'll I've, learn. You'll learn. You'll I don't want to learn. My friend's got CD-ROM. Will you put your shit down, okay? Come on. Put your shit down. Someday I'm going to own a computer just so I can mess with the CD-ROM and nothing else. And if you want to listen to something. Viola. 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 Okay, Viola. Right here. Click on that and see how it goes. It goes right to the uh, viola section. What happens is it shows you a viola. It shows you a little biographical uh, background on it.
on it, you click right down here, you can read about the viola, and you click on the little speaker and hear a viola. Pretty cool, huh? Click on the piano, go back to the main screen. You can listen to hundreds of instruments that way. I mean, I'm just going to give you an overview of the most exciting parts of the uh, CD room. Now I want you to sit down, and I'm going to fucking train your fucking uh, uh, doled out, stuttering fucking brain, okay? Let's go! Okay. Now, what you got to do is, come over here, where are you? Okay. Uh, click on this little thing over here. You see the little, okay. can you see this clearly? Yeah, I'll put this little uh, arrow here, then. Yeah, then you click on that, okay, right, and then you click on this left part, right over here. Like that? Yeah, but, yeah, there you go. So now you're in the main screen. Okay, now click on, let's look at, uh, let's look at the uh, gargoyle over there. Click on the little brain part. Yeah, like this, You see like that small setting? Again? Yeah, you click on that. You point to it like you've been doing with the little ball. Here's the little mouse. See what this is called this is a fucking mass, right? You move it around, yeah. you get to click on wherever, it, when they hear you click right there, and, and, and it allows you to actually interact and, and change things and answer things and learn information and get excited. And any drive, whether you like it or not, you just learn something. You just right. became more fucking intelligent today. Is that possible? Okay, so you see the little brain? Uh -huh. You click on it, it moves up and down, right? right? And if you roll over here, see the cat IQ test comes down? You saw yeah. that in the cat, uh, the uh, Beethoven on speed. the same thing as the album? Yeah. You see this? Yes, yes. The Beethoven on speed has a little IQ test, right? Right. It's the same thing over there. Okay, and then when you uh, move over here, the uh, neurotic and psychotic, go ahead and click on that, see what happens. Right here? Yep. So it opens up the door, right? Now we get to interact with the uh, lifestyle of neurotic and psychotic musical geniuses. So it gives you a bunch of questions about uh, geniuses of the past, what they did. Okay, so you see that little uh, flashing thing? Uh -huh. You go roll over to that, click on that, and then the gray cat comes down. Now, now get up, get the fuck up, and let him sit down and try a little bit of it. Whoa, watch it! Ah! Six billion dollar computer, you're gonna ruin it one fucking second. Come on. Okay. Can you take a picture? It's in my bag. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, hold on a second. Cut and, for, uh, pan in on this so we can get this pretty nice and can yeah, shot. Have some, have some okay. So we have digital Beethoven on cyber speed. We're panning in on the uh, the box. Here's the box that you're going to get. Here's Okay, turn it off. Uh, here's the uh, the back of the box. Go to your local record store. Go to the local computer store. They have it. If they don't have it, of course you know who to call. The Great Cat Cyber Speed Hotline two one two seven nine 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 three nine two, and I'll find it for you. Otherwise, I'll come to your fucking hometown and shove it up your ass. Okay? Let's go back to the uh, demo here. So it's of the neurotic and psychotic. And the first question is: This composer, the Brandenburg Concerto, was born in 1685, was buried in unmarked grave until his remains were recovered in 1894. Who's the who's the composer? Hey. Okay, good. Go for it. Wait, wait, just click it once. Otherwise it goes fucking berserk and turns off and, and, and yells at you and screams at you. So this is- be a genius like me! That means you got it right. The great cat called you a genius, you can live. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next question. Danny? Mm -hmm. This Hungarian composer was best known as a concert pianist, specializing in Bach and Liszt. Who's the answer? It's too slow! Yeah. <laughs> Man. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I don't know. Just I, I, go for anything, anything. Okay, Leonard Bernstein. Let's see what happens when he got that wrong. We know that's wrong, but let's see what the great cat says. Die! The great, the great cat says, die! Right now, right? Okay, now get off. Okay, so that's an idea. That's an example of lifestyles of neurotic and psychotic. In other words, whether you like it or not, you're learning. Okay? Yeah. You're being energized, you're learning. You guys just learned two things I'm sure you fucking didn't know, even though you knew the fucking answer, what but you didn't. Want? Too much cat for you to handle. Okay, See so ya. now we're gonna go check out. Let's. You want to check out your photo in the yeah. uh, the cat's lake club section? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going back to the main screen, and we're gonna check out another section, which is the cat's lake club section, devoted to all the cat slaves around the world. Do you have any questions about cat slaves? Um, yeah, what's the most craziest uh, cat cat slave you've uh, experienced? The most, I don't know, you're probably one of the most crazy. You sent me a nude photo with that. Uh, wasn't that you? The yeah, it was. I sent a picture. The, uh, I mean, yeah, I did. Like that. Yeah, well, I did. That's, 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 uh, that's the kind of letters I get. That's the kind of photos I get. You know, I get people that, when I played at um, CBGB's in New York, some guy, no, no, it was some other place in Long Island. I was playing, and I said, somebody lick my ass. And this guy came and took a chunk of my fucking ass, man. He bit it. He took a chunk home with him. Here's a chunk of my ass. I want it back. <laughs> God. I swear, I had a fucking black and blue man for six weeks out of that shit. Well, you asked for that one. Yeah, I asked for that one.
that one. And then, you know, I get the typical kids that, that call me up all day, all night, and, and want to talk to the great cat on the phone, people who are suicidal, people who love me, people send me love letters, people send me death threats, you know, the whole typical shit like that. Uh, touring people who join the bus, who come on, who uh, want to lick my feet and don't want to be thrown off. Here we go. Here's the cat's leg. Come, come